And I think I know what we're going to pick out because I can smell it over here. The cilantro in here to tell us more Yay. about it. It's going to be Hagenberger, the nutrition professor. Hello. So look. cilantro, I could smell it a mile away. Yes, and cilantro is amazing because what color is it? Green. Yes, and green Yay. is good. Green is good. Okay. Green is great. Test Actually, the first test. Yes, and this seems like a gigantic bunch of cilantro. Right? Right. And people sometimes get scared about buying a lot of herbs uh -huh. because recipes may call for a tablespoon or a teaspoon. However, I put my greens in my salads as well. Oh. So these will be used all week for oh, me. Oh, that's a great idea. But we're going to do something special with this. Oh. And it's actually going to be a breakfast item. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I okay. know, I'm going to keep you guessing. But when we pick out cilantro, we want to make sure that it's as green as possible, not wilted, right? And not, you can see if it had, let's see if we can find, no, this is beautiful. Sometimes you can see a little darkening of mm -hmm. the edges. So mm -hmm. this is not a huge problem. There's one leaf on here, um, but this is gorgeous. You don't want it to be soggy and you don't want it to be brown. Oh, no. So, and little baby is good. Oh, when we okay. think about greens, the smaller, the better. Oh, okay. So you may have heard about sprouting and the little, that's great. So we want little tiny leaves and usually they're more mild. So this looks like a great bunch. Let's take this one home. I was gonna say, we're gonna get this. All right, let's go. So we've got our aprons on, we're home, we're ready to get cooking. And I can already tell you, I can already predict this is gonna be one of my favorite things you do. I think so. This okay. is gonna be delicious. So first, we got cilantro at the farmer's market. Right. And so what you are not seeing is I put it in ice water and then I use my salad spinner to spin it. And then this is how I keep it in the fridge. Oh, great idea. So until I'm ready to use it. Yeah. So we're going to just let it sit here because we are going to make an amazing avocado toast. Love not it. just avocado toast, but my favorite. Okay. So okay. this is going to get really colorful. Okay. So get ready. we toasted some sprouted bread <laughs> mm -hmm. and then we have some gorgeous avocado. Love. Gorgeous. And remember, I left that little nub, nub in there. That's how you know that it's fresh. So we're going to take some of this beautiful avocado and put it here. So spoon for that and then a fork to mash it. Now, once we get this done, we're going to add some very specific ingredients. Oh, okay. Now, some people just stop here. Uh -huh. Avocado <laughs> toast, right? Oh no, 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 we have to up no. the disease fighting, health promoting. But that's why we come here, because you yes. gave us great, great ideas. All right, so turmeric. Uh-huh. Very, very important for anti-inflammatory. Whoa, that was a lot. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. That's a lot. Pile it on. So, the, actually with turmeric, we have to be wary. This would be a little too strong. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So it would be fine health-wise, but it's just going to be too strong. Mm. So, but you just knock it off, right? There we go. Perfect. See, life but it just works. <laughs> just make it work. Make now, it work. Now, the other thing that we always put with turmeric is black pepper. Oh, is that just right? Just a little bit, because what it will do is help your body maintain that level of the antioxidants. Oh. It'll tell the liver, don't break down turmeric. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you like hot sauce? Absolutely. I was just, yeah, see, I didn't even ask. I just started. <laughs> you know I do. Okay. So, yeah. Hot sauce. And Perfect. that, of course, is to your taste preference. Uh -huh. okay. And then let's get some greens. So we have some spicy arugula, which we love. I love it. Okay. And then that beautiful cilantro from the farmer's market. Oh, that's okay. awesome. Now, the hardest thing is going to be eating it. <laughs> now, this is the... Stealth, fantastic ingredient. Uh huh. Red cabbage. Now, trust. We talk about trust <laughs> on this do. show, don't we? We do. So we're gonna put that, and actually, it makes it easier to eat. It doesn't look as gorgeous, uh -huh. right? But this is gonna put it all together. So fabulous. Okay, before I take oh. a bite into this, because I know I'm gonna love it, you can get this recipe at our website, CaliforniaBountiful.com. All right, let's take a bite. Got to hold on to that cabbage. Mmm, that's fabulous. That hot sauce, ooh, that hot sauce is good. You get a little hot sauce. A little hot sauce, a little avocado, eat with my mouthful. It's so good, it's so worth it.